Right, YouTube is Shadow King King Nazu. We got another trailer for Godzilla Kong: The New Empire. Let's check it out, shall we? Hey, okay, we're back in Egypt. Kong calling out the Hollow Earth. There was harmony. Was there though? Was there really? The Titans were the guardians of nature. Wow, guys, look at you be a little bit more considered about collateral damage. Became the protectors of humanity. Weren't the, the or isn't Kong species considered Titans? Okay, winter. Oh, wait, was that Godzilla doing a nuclear pulse? Here, something's wrong. We've discovered a signal. Mm -hmm. She can feel it. Gia? Kong. Godzilla. Ooh. They can feel it, too. Something God. is coming. Oh, I just love the... They are afraid of. I just like the the cert bios uh radiation is uh that Godzilla goes throughout God's skin of the skin when he glows with his radiation. Okay. Is that a mini call? Oh my god. It's not just a signal. That's a call for war. Kong and Scar King Bean. Ooh. They're about to throw down. Oh. Oh, Scar King's got moves. What is that? Oh, that must be that other Titan, uh, Shimu. And. Shimu apparently has ice powers. He won't be alone. Alright, Godzilla and Kong team have to fight Scar King and Shimu. Oh, hi, Jesus. The last time those two met up was almost the end of Kong. Oh, that's really unnecessary. They don't need to fight again. We just have to work together. Oh! Nice punch. Is the military fighting Godzilla? And Godzilla can do a nuclear pulse with. We've made some minor augmentations. Oh. I have the Infinity Gauntlet now. Oh. Well, all right then. And. All right, so uh, March. All right, so uh, March 29th, we're getting that new trailer. I don't know, but yeah, that's a nice shot. Seeing, uh, seeing Godzilla and Kong in the daylight doing their team up, and uh, and they're staring at, and they're standing in front of a Sphinx, and uh, that's about 20 meters, which I, if I have my metrics correct, that's about 65 feet. And that thing barely comes up to Godzilla and Kong's uh doesn't even come up to their to their uh to their knees. Now just for like a comparison, if you watched Attack on Titan, you know uh you know Peak's Cart Titan as well as the Jaw Titan, um uh, either Emir or Porco or Marcel or uh or Falco, the, the, the those were about they were about twenty meters. So, what were the twenty meters or what? Whether regardless, now that's how small that they would look compared to like Godzilla and Kong. Like they, they would barely be noticeable. And I met, and I think uh, thanks to Godzilla got uh, just had his evolution. He would got much bigger. But let's let's move on, shall we? Um, the interesting highlights is that uh, Godzilla and Kong are sensing the threat that Scar King and Shimu are posing, and uh, definitely Shimu is going to cause. Definitely Shimu is going to be the bigger bigger of the two threats, because uh, 
Shimu has the ice powers, and I and it's gonna be like the antithesis of Godzilla, and could potentially start an ice age. So, and that would be a huge uh, planetary threat. So Godzilla would obviously be against that, and Kong but probably have some personal staking in this too. Uh, especially with, uh, against Scar King and his, uh, and seeing these other apes that are similar to Kong, which I'm assuming that they're slaves. And I imagine Kong wants to free them and start a tribe with them and have, have a, basically have a family again. Um, we also see, uh, you also see that see that one bit where Godzilla and Kong are fighting again. I not a big I'm not a big fan of that because I feel like they should have sol- resolved their differences and realized that they're they're basically on the same side. Now I um, now I know I'm getting that this is basically an uneasy alliance. I think that's what the director said is that as long as uh, Kong remained in the Hollow Earth and Godzilla kept the the surface world. Then uh, there'd be no beef between him and Kong. I, I thought they would be um I thought they would at least be on better terms than that, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, it was nice to see Scar King in action and how he handles the that bone whip, this uh, the whip slash, as the toy calls it, and how he's whip uh use it against. Uh, gets Kong and and the and the uh, axe that he had from the last movie. I imagine this fight is going to be very similar to how, uh, how the fight between Kratos and Thor went. Uh, except the only difference is that Kratos, uh, he barely pulled a pulled the win uh, in the first fight. Against Thor, mostly because he was holding himself back, and also his weapons uh, were weakened by Thimble Winter. But but let's let's not get into that. I think that here Kong's going to lose that fight, and his arm's going to get broken, which is why he's going to need that uh, need the Beast Glove, uh, just to uh, not only serve as a support brace but also give him some extra strength. Uh, I don't know. And I don't know if Godzilla is going to be confronting confronting Shimu and uh, Scar King before his evolution, but it could be a possibility, and that's why he decides to evolve. Um, why the military is choosing to attack Godzilla, um, I don't know. May uh, maybe they're a little on edge because after the whole uh, Godzilla attacked uh, Hong Kong. Back in Godzilla vs. Kong, but that was evidently shown to be in response to uh, Apex creating Mecha Godzilla, which Godzilla was not for. Uh, it was nice to get get to see some action, more bits of the Hollow Earth. Um, nice that we're setting up the scale for the uh, these two threats. I. Don't, I'm, I don't think that uh, Scar King by himself is as big of a threat as Ghidorah, who just ve- mere existence would cause uh, massive hurricanes and m- massive damage to the planet. He was a alien. He was a literal alien threat. Uh, I'm not getting. I'm not sensing that kind of uh, level of dread from Scar King, but I feel with, sh- with while he has control of Shimu. Then he could he could rise to that level. So you guys tell me what did you think of this trailer? What were you excited about? Uh, you think Godzilla X um, and Godzilla Kong: The New Empire is going to be a successful movie? And uh, and as a personal request, don't try to uh, don't try to s- spit on this movie because you prefer minus one serious tone uh, over Godzilla's more is action escapist tone. Godzilla has the Godzilla series has gone through very different tones and very way, different ways of doing the films. If it was just all serious, bleak, 
uh, like the first film or like select other films without the franchise, the, Go- the Godzilla franchise wouldn't have lasted 70 decades. I mean, I mean, seven decades. So I say try to drop the elitism and let's just enjoy that we got another Godzilla movie and hope that it's good. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'll catch you mortals later.